Hey students, <clears throat> this is the key to quiz six. All right, so it says um, solve the following quadratic equations by completing the square and by using the quadratic formula, right? All your answers in exact simplified form. Okay, so we start with this thing. Um, what we got to do first is expand it out. So uh, if we do that, we would get x squared, then minus 6x plus 2x would be minus 4x. Then we'd have a minus 12, and then I'd subtract the 2, so I'd actually get a minus 14. So that's what it would be in standard form. All right. So we've got a clearly defined a, b, and c. It's also helpful to get h, which is negative b over uh, 2a, so that'd be negative 2. All right. Um, so what we do with completing the square is we take the thing that's in standard form, we add c and divide by a. So since a is 1, we don't have to divide by a, but adding c, or we're subtracting c off, we get we get this. Okay, then um, what we do is we add h squared to both sides. So if, since h is negative 2, h squared is 4. So I'm going to add that to both sides. Okay, now the left-hand side is a perfect square. It's x minus h. h is negative 2, so it's really x plus 2 squared. Now we can apply the square root property. Okay, this needs a little bit of simplification, so this can be written as root 2, root 9. So I chose this root 9 because that's a perfect square. I'm trying to peel off any, this thing's not square free, so I have to peel off any squares that I can. So, it actually, so root 9 becomes 3. So it's plus or minus 3 root 2. Then we, so we add the 2. Okay, so we're getting two solutions. We're getting x is 2 plus 3 root 2, and x is 2 minus 3 root 2. I like writing them as separate solutions, but you can use this plus minus thing. Just leave it like that if you want. So hopefully we get the same thing if we, compl if we do it by, um, by the quadratic formula. Okay. Not focusing. Okay, so the quadratic formula says x is negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So negative b would be 4, b squared would be 16, a is 1, c is negative 14. 2a is 1, this is that. Okay, so 2a, fine. So then we have 4 plus or minus, so 16, so uh, negative 4 times negative 14 is negative, is positive 56. So we're adding 56. Okay. So now we have uh, 72 under there. All right, and again, we need to simplify that square root. So I'm going to separate it into, so it's divisible by 9 because that's 9 by 8. And 8 is 4 times 2. Okay, so we can split that root up like that, So these, because these are perfect squares. So I'm finally getting 4 plus or minus, so 3 times 2 is 6 over 2. And then I just divide, right? I divide both of those terms, so I get 2 plus or minus 3 root 2, which is what I had over there. Okay, um, so that one's good to go. 
over here, uh, we have to, to note that A is 2, B is 3, and C is negative 4 if it were in standard form. Okay, so H, what's H? H is negative 3 over 4. Okay, we're going to need that later. Okay. So, we, we've already sort of subtracted the C here, so now we're just going to divide by A. Now we add h squared, which would be 9 sixteenths to both sides. All right, now it'll be helpful to write 2 as a fraction over 16, so that's 32 sixteenths. All right. So the left-hand side is now a perfect square. It's x minus h. So if so x plus 3 fourths. And then this is uh, 41 sixteenths. Okay. Now we apply the square root property and we get plus or minus root 41 over 4. Because so I hit both the top and the bottom of the square root. Now the bottom thing is always going to be a perfect square, so that works out nicely. You need to get the same denominator here as you did over here. Um, and root 41, I mean, 41 is already prime, so there's nothing, there's no way to factor it. So you certainly can't peel off a square, so that one's square free. So finally, you get negative 3 fourths plus or minus root 41 over 4. Okay, so yes, we have two answers there. Now we'll quadratic formula of this. So negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4 times a is 2 and then c is negative 4 all over 2a. So it's negative 3 plus or minus 9. So that's uh, 8 times 4 is 32. So we're really adding 32. So there wasn't a whole lot to do here. Um, that's equivalent to this. Okay, I mean you can you can distribute the one fourth across the sum at the top, and you're done. So thanks for watching.